Hi guys, today I would like to show you how to get some uh, information about your uh, DPF. To do that you will need the uh, OBD2 Bluetooth dongle, which you can obviously buy from my website, and also some Android application, which obviously I will show you how to, how to get there. So, we just need to connect that OBD2 dongle into slot. And the next step will be configuration from your mobile phone. Right, when you connect the dongle with your car, please don't forget to turn on the ignition because without that the dongle will not working. Right, so first of all, uh, we need to connect with that OBD uh, adapter. So go to your Bluetooth settings. I'm just gonna unpair my one scan. All right, so it's up here. The password should be one, two, three, four. Okay. All right, so it's connected now. Then we have to download the application which is called VAT BPF Free. There is also the paid version which just which, which, which can show you that's more information. In our free we're gonna have only the salt mass, regeneration during duration and distance since last region. So we just need to download that one. Alright, so when you open it, just need to click on connect we connect with the obd dongle now it's just reading the information and showing our salt mass uh, regeneration duration uh, that means if your car is already on that process to regen the dpf it will show you how long it takes right now and the last one is showing just the distance since last region. So like on my one is just 56 miles, but it's quite big salt mass. So probably will start the regeneration quite soon. Alright guys, so I have took the car for route to drive because I thought that, uh, that auto-regeneration process would restart, but it didn't. 
However, after a few, after 20 miles actually, you see the salt mask calculation just grew up. So I would just bought also the, the pale version of the black DPF. Uh, I didn't mention that before, but before you start using this application, you need to choose your Bluetooth interface on the settings. Just scroll down to have there you have the connection type. Of course, Bluetooth. You have to select your OBD2 interface. And now we can see. So the DPF is uh, full at in 66%. So it's so we probably start the regeneration process after. 60 miles it's not that bad actually so distance now there's in kilometers once again we're gonna change that to miles uh, distance okay it's from echo distance miles so I got 85 miles, so I've done about 20-25 miles.